and I'm sorry. But y'all not gonna break me down like if I did something wrong. Listen, I snitched, I ratted. But who was I supposed to be loyal to? If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world, and you fucking my baby mom, and while I'm out on tour making money for all of us, you back at home sleep with my baby mom, then I get kidnapped, then you try to kill me? If you can't be loyal to me out here in the free world, what would you think about what I held it down? You wouldn't violate me in the prison. No. We talk about snitching. Yeah. And how you new wave ass niggas be thinking this snitching shit is okay. This What's snitch it? shit is not okay. But if a nigga don't live a life of crime, don't right. do nothing wrong, and he a law by the citizen, if he tells on you that's different, the snitcher come in when, hey, man, you did a, man, crime. You did a crime together. Told them. Or nigga, uh -huh. the laws caught you on your corner to get your time off. You told on the oh, niggas on the next corner that's or to get your time reduced. Right. Or you get back in the corner when you in that cold room because you ain't hard enough to just stay silent and be quiet. It's not stitching if the nigga post it on Instagram and leave it up there for the world to see and then he talks about it in his interviews or, or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I believe 6 9 decided on that court hearing day on January 22nd that he would cooperate with the feds. And the reason why is because the feds on that day decided to lay out all the evidence he had against 6 9 And I believe when 6 9 heard this and saw this, he was like, man, there's no way I'm going to beat this, so might as well work with them to see if I can get a lesser sentence.